Hello Star Citizens, it's me, Talk Brazillo, and I'm back and I'm in space. And today we're doing something a little bit different. We're in, not in the normal live uh, Star Citizen servers for 17.1. We today are in the PTU, the Persistent Test Universe, testing out patch 17.2. So this is a little sneak preview uh, for everyone who's not able to access the PTU right now in wave one of what um, is going on. Uh, and this is one of the new missions and everyone's very excited because of these new Reclaimer derelicts and if you don't know the Reclaimer is a great big uh, ugly looking industrial ship um, and it's actually quite reminiscent of the ship the Nostromo from Alien it's got a little bit of a similarity to it so people really like the Reclaimer it's got a lot of character and what CIG have done is created um, some Reclaimer derelicts uh, and some of these are on the planet and some of them are in space. So what we're going to do today is we're travelling to uh, one of the derelicts called the Black Kite. And you'll see at the top of the screen we have a mission called Seize the Data. And the mission is going to show us where this space derelict is. Um, so you need the mission to get there, a bit like the 890 Jump mission. Uh, but when we get there we're going to have to carry out this task which is to find... Uh, we're going to find a crypto key and when we find that crypto key, we are going to use it to decrypt the servers. Uh, now, I don't really know what to expect here. What CIG have said is uh, there are some new uh, derelicts, reclaimer derelicts, on both on the um, ground and in the air. But the ones in space have specific narrative missions. Please try them out, but some of them are quite involved. Um, so we'll see how you feel. So we'll see what we think. I think that was it there. Yes, there it is. It shows up as a, a enemy ship, so it's red marked because, of course, it has been hijacked by the Nine Tails, who are using it with the servers on board to do bad people things. I'm not entirely sure what. Uh, so what we have to do first is we have to get in, and I think that the whole mission um, involves we have to get in. We have to get the crypto key. We have to get the crypto key to the server, decrypt the server, and then we're going to be asked to destroy the black kite. So you can see, look, it is a fantastic ship. I think I was underneath it then. Look at the size of it, but also the design. It's quite an incredible design, the Reclaimer. And I'm really glad that it's getting some love in this situation. So what I'm doing now is I'm just trying to shoot to try and open the hatch, but actually... I don't know that I needed to do this because when I got there, I didn't see the hatch open and then when I got there, the hatch was open. So I think the hatch is just open. It doesn't look open there, but then when I got there, it was open. So yeah, not entirely sure. Not entirely 100% sure. Well, you see, it definitely looks closed there. Definitely looks closed. So, as you can uh, probably guess, I'm talking to you uh, post doing this mission. I thought that because it was a new mission, and it was on the PTU, and it was um, apparently quite involved, I would do the mission first, for the first time. So this is my first time doing or seeing this mission. I've not had any other run at it or anything like that. Um, so I thought that I'd do it and then record this voiceover afterwards just to kind of talk through what I thought of it. A bit like Mission Breakdown, really. So it is Mission Breakdown, in fact. I should have called it Mission Breakdown. So yeah, as you can see, I'm now just looking around the wreck, just trying to see if there's any other way in other than this um, obvious flashing um, docking port on top. And I think the reason it's flashing is because that's the way you're supposed to go in. So I don't know whether I needed to fire my guns at that or whether it would have just opened up when I got there. So I'm just going to leave my Pisces. Uh, so I think the Pisces is the perfect ship for this. You'll see why later. Now, what's happened now is there's a baddie coming. Um, there's a, an enemy ship. I've just noticed it. So I'm trying to get back in the seat. <laughs> Because I'm thinking, oh no, he's going to blow the, either blow the black kite up with me on it or he's going to blow me up on it. So I'm now having a look to see. Okay. There we go. We can see the bogey indication. Okay. I can definitely see a triangle of a mission, a missile coming towards us there or going away. 
Uh, and there's two bogeys there because one is the black kite and the other one is me. So now I'm going to go and try and sort out the bogey with my Pisces. And I have to say, this is very impressive. Uh, this is the little Pisces with its four size one weapons. And it's going to just completely obliterate the bogey in about 10 seconds. I was very, very pleased with this at the time. Uh, so let's see. But I am also going to get a crime stat, which I don't quite understand, but hey. So there we go. We've got the bogey. And now go on, little Pisces. Show him what you're made of. I've no idea what ship he's got there. but <laughs> There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Who says that a Pisces is, is not a great ship? I love the Pisces. But I've got, I got a crime stat. Actually, you, as you're going to see later on, getting a crime stat at this point is not such a big deal. Um, so uh, well, I'll show you why later um, and something interesting that I discovered. I don't know whether what I discovered is going to be in the final mission or if it's an error, uh, but you'll see later. So let's get inside this ship and let's do this mission. I absolutely love this mission, I have to say. I previously, one of my favourite things to do in Star Citizen, pre, Star Citizen previous to this has been the 890 jump mission. I re, when it works, I really like the, uh, you know, it's very atmospheric. I like the cave missions again, same thing. You feel like you're in a cave. It's good sound design. Same with the 890 jump mission when it works. And it's quite a nice, for a solo mission where you're just sort of going around, working around on your own, not with other people. These are great missions because of the atmosphere. You, you really edge of your seat, sort of feel of like an, a space movie, alien movie, that kind of thing. So I love this mission. You're going to see why in a minute. And I totally, totally, totally recommend everybody do these missions. Have a go at doing them on your own. Don't do them just as part of a group. So, ah, so there we are. I can click on it and open it. So you don't need to shoot at it. You can just click on it and open it. And now I think I've got to do the same. There we go, we're through. So when you come in, if you come in through that top one, you'll come into this ante room, which is like an, a behind the kitchen. Now there are gonna be nine tails around the ship, so just be aware of that. Now I've got a bug with my gun. 17.3.17.2 is very buggy at the moment, just so you know. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's where it is at the moment. It's quite buggy. So the kitchen's just on the left there. Like, can, there you are, look at that. Look just like the kitchen from Alien. And then we're going to work our way up the corridor here. And now I struck quite lucky because I had a look in here and this was, I think this is the cap, no, this is the crew quarters. And there's nobody in here. So again, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure where I think these nine tails are supposed to be. Um, whether they're supposed to be walking the corridors. I'm sure I saw a clip on one of the Star Citizen videos that Star Citizen put out and the Ninetales were in the corridors, but I don't know how realistic that is, whether that's just marketing material or whether that is actually from playing the mission. Uh, and then across the way from there, this is the first room you want to look for, which is the captain's quarters. And you'll see why. So someone is in here, so we'll quickly dispatch him. Uh, and then what I noticed, just looking around straight away in the captain's quarters, is that he had the servers in his quarters. So I thought, ah, this must be the room where we need to decrypt the servers. So I then started looking for the crypto key. Um, and it wasn't long before I spotted something on the desk and it was the decryption key. There we go. So I grabbed the decryption key and then, now I now spent quite a bit of time <laughs> trying to insert this decryption key into everything I could find, including a model of the Mercury Star Runner, which, CIG, can I just add, please, can you let us loot the model of the Mercury Star Runner? I would like to have that in my collection, and I would like to be able to loot it from this mission. There you go. Challenge for you, please. So I'm looting his helmet there. I always loot helmets when I've got a backpack. Loot as many helmets as I can because helmets come in very useful. You can also loot uh, undersuits in a backpack. Not obviously there because of all the other stuff won't fit in, but if if that if I pull that undersuit off, I could loot it into the backpack and I can get a couple of under get two undersuits in the big backpack, which is really good because look, undersuits are one of those things that you, they cost a thousand UEC. You don't need to buy them, you can get them in the bunkers left, right and centre, but you, they, you have to carry them out, so they're good to put in your backpack and just take out that way. 
So I'm now checking, scan to locate the black pipe, travel to last known location and board the black pipe. I'm just checking the details here of the uh, mission. And as you can see, the mission's worth 50,000 AUEC. So this is a really good one. Again, do it, try and do it solo. It really isn't that difficult, not in its current format. It might be different when it goes live, but it's not that difficult. And as, per, as a solo mission, the atmosphere is so different. Everybody who harps on all the time on um, Spectrum about, oh, Star Citizens are gamed only to be done in groups. It's not supposed to be a solo game. Absolute rubbish. Star Citizen can be a solo game and it can also be a group game. And there's no problem doing it either way. You can do all the missions in Star Citizen solo. Pretty much all the missions. Maybe some of the Arlington gang missions um, from Hon Kirsten Tyne Hurston might be a little tricky on your own, but you can do them. Uh, but certainly all these standalone missions, these ones you can definitely, I would recommend doing this on your own, even if you're going to do it with your friends, because it's completely different on your own. You're isolated on your own. Things are appearing, people are appearing. There's atmosphere. It, you're on a derelict ship in the middle of space. It completely changes the dynamic of the mission compared to when you're with a group covering each other's back and chatting away on the radio. Anyway, we digress. So as you can see, I'm now searching like crazy for the place to shove the crypto key to decrypt this server here, but let you into a secret, that's not the right server. So the mission is gonna get a little bit more tricky. So the first thing you need to do is find that um, decryption key. And then when you've found the decryption key, forget all of this in here because none of this is the right stuff. What you need to do now is leave and find the elevator, um, which I'm going to obviously be off to do now. And I don't know this, obviously. I have no idea wh where I'm actually going. Um, but you need to find the elevator, um, and then that will help you to find the uh, next bit of the mission. So some airlocks there. So if you do need to get out of the ship, uh, you can use those airlocks. So that's all worth I wouldn't go down to the sub deck. Although I wonder where that brings you out. Next time I'm going to try that. It's eerie. So now I've found some more computers and I'm like, oh, computers, these are the ones, but they're not. They're not the ones. They're the ship's computers. What we're looking for is the servers that the Ninetales who've commandeered this derelict ship. I'm assuming it wasn't derelict before they commandeered it. They've stolen this ship and they filled it with their own servers and now they're using it to um, smuggle data. So here's the elevator. So when you get on the elevator, you need to use the elevator now to go down to one of the other decks. So I didn't know where to go, so I selected salvage hold. Now you can select salvage processing or salvage hold, doesn't matter, um, both of which will take to the right place, but I liked this way of doing it and I think I would do it this way again. So what you're going to do now is you're going to find that on salvage hold, no, salvage processing is where all the servers are, but by going down to salvage hold, which I think this is now, we get to come up from the back and attack them from the back rather than arriving at the top. So again, just bear in mind, I have no idea when I'm playing this how to do the mission. I'm just looking for what I should do, but they've done a good job, CIG, of creating all of this mission debris and stuff in here. So I'm just going to crawl through, and I'm looking, obviously, all the time for nine tails. <laughs> There's definitely somebody there somewhere, because I, I, I saw a figure fly through the air, and I heard a voice. So now I've noticed that there's a puzzle, so I can't get through any further, which is where I need to go. Um, and I realised that actually in order to do this puzzle, I'm gonna need a multi-tool, and I don't have a multi-tool. So I've come all of this way to this mission, and all of this way into the ship without a medical gun or a multi-tool. Yes, I know, first rule of Star Citizen, well, second rule of Star Citizen, because first rule of Star Citizen is don't leave your door open. Trying to jump, get round the corner, but I can't do it. It can't get round. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to see that CIG have been very, very helpful. And 
we've got trouble. What CIG have done is, um, you'll see in a second, is left a handy multi-tool, which I really appreciate this because there's nothing worse than getting all that way and not having the tool to do the job. So yeah, there's a little bit of exploration needed in these missions, a little bit of hunting around, and then there we go. Oh, look, you've made my day. You've left me a multi-tool. Amazing. So I've got the multi-tool now. So now I realise that I know, <laughs> apart from the bugs, I now know what I need to do, which is to get rid of one of those um, boxes so I can get through. And there it is. So yeah, we just move that box like that, and then we can get through. Obviously go back to our gun. And now you can see that there is a grenade launcher. Now, what I didn't realize at the time was that you know, what you want to do here is get the grenade launcher, run up to the back where those arrows are and shoot the grenades over the top and kill all the people. Uh, but I didn't realize that. So I took the grenade launcher and I did mess about with it. And then for some reason it disappeared. So I couldn't do that. But that's what I would recommend doing. Get the grenade launcher, jump up on this lift, which takes you up and, um, and uh, you know, shoot the grenades all over them. So here, this is a salvage lift, uh, and this is what's going to eventually take you up to the next level. Um, yeah, I. <laughs> there are some problems still, as I say. 17.2, uh, 317.2 is not in a great state at the moment on the PTU. It's playable. There's some client crashes. There's quite a bit of 30k issue, uh, but there's also quite a lot of silly bugs in the in 317.2. So I, I assume that CRG is beavering away at the moment, uh, working away on these bugs, trying to get 317.2 uh, perfected and nice so that it's... Now, I've noticed there's a guy behind there. I saw him there, so I'm just going to... Just shooting a couple of uh, grenades through to knock him out. And then you'll see now, this is where I end up losing the gun, which is really annoying because again, this keeps happening. You drop the gun and it's gone. It shouldn't be gone, it should be there. So it's on the floor there. And it's messing about, but when I come back through, it's gone. And his body's gone, so goodness knows where he went. And now I'm going to try and call the elevator. So what I've discovered is the elevator doesn't come. It doesn't come uh, when you're on this floor. It won't let you back out. But I don't know if that's a bug or if that's intentional. I don't, if it's intentional, that's great. If it's a bug, then it's just a bit annoying. But you don't need it to come. But I think I, I thought maybe the idea was you're supposed to come to this level and then work your way back up over that other elevator, which is what I did. So you'll see in a minute. Um, and then get the elevator back at the top. Um, so yeah, but yeah, the elevator won't come. I can't make it come here. There's no sound of the elevator coming. So again, this is what makes me wonder whether this is intentional. CIG want you to come down here and then have to go the other way, like a puzzle. And I like a good puzzle. So now we're going to go back. We're just having a look because we're not sure why that guy disappeared. Uh, we're going to work our way back now. And I've just realized that I probably need that grenade launcher and it's not there. No, it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. Sorry, mate, it's gone. Gone. Uh, so I've kind of clicked now that what I need to do is go up that other lift and I need the grenade. That's why the grenade launcher was left there. So that's a bit disappointing because um, I didn't get to shoot the grenades at the people. But you'll see uh, that I did get to shoot at them. So what I do now is I try and jump up on the lift and then eventually get the lift to go up and then we can continue with the message, the mission. But I really like the atmospheric sounds here, especially that alarm sound like going off in the background. Sounds very like an alarm sound I've heard before in something. So just trying to find a way to make the elevator work now. 
going to try clicking on it. Doesn't seem to be any obvious button. There we go. So we found it then. Operate elevator. And we've kind of got squished under the elevator and there they all are. So that's brought us up to the level where the servers are. You can see all their servers. So now we can... Although, obviously these guys are quite easy to kill here because they just sort of stood there. They do fight back, uh, but they're pretty slow. Uh, so now we can get onto server level. Loads of weapons to get. And then we've got some terrible desync problems with these guys in 17.2. And there is, yeah, get rid of him. Uh, how many more have we got? Let's have a look. So now we've found probably where we need to come with our crypto key. Or decryption key. Just looking for any more. There's another one. Those are those guys with the with the Baraclava things on their uh, one shot guys. Anyway, get rid of them quickly. For anybody else, and now we've found where there's another elevator there, and we can get back out hopefully of that elevator, or maybe not. So what I'm going to do now is come over here. I can see what what's going on. I'm going to just get that med pen, and I'm looking for a spot for a crypto key, and it's just over there on the right. There it is, there it is, look at that. I'm gonna just grab my crypto key. Decryption key, sorry. It's a decryption key, not a crypto key. That's a different thing. Right, so decryption key, insert it in the slot. So as you can see, and then it's, I'm assuming it's doing, doing its business now because nothing's happening and then eventually it says, yeah, you've done the job, there we go. Well done. Now, new objective, destroy the black kite. So, at this point in time, I'm just obviously just doing a bit of looting, but I had to think about what that meant. How could I destroy the black kite? I suppose I could get out and shoot at it, but I've only got the Pisces. So I was a bit concerned that that might take a long time, and I know that the shields are on because I tried to shoot at it earlier. So I think, right, what I need to do is I need to get back in the elevator and I need to go and find the cockpit, uh, the flight deck, um, and that will mean I can turn off the shields and or I can um, or I can blow the ship up by initiating the self-destruct and this is where we come back to what I told you ages ago which is about getting a crime stat so it occurred to me that if you get a crime stat doing this mission so if you shoot that enemy ship that comes and you get a crime stat actually all you need to do, as long as you've got all your equipment on your person like that, is go and destroy the ship with the self-destruct. You'll die, you'll go to Klesha, and you'll have to do a bit of time in prison, but honestly, it took me 10 minutes. But you keep all your gear, because you keep everything that's on you. When you get out of prison, you've got it all back. And you get 50,000 for doing the mission, because you do the mission because you destroy the black kite. And all you have to do then is just go to prison for a little bit and do one oxygen mission or a bit of mining and you're out of prison. So that is my strategy. If you get a crime stat doing this mission, just blow the ship up with you in it. And there you go. I'm waiting for the elevator now, but it isn't going to come. Just a little... Uh, little uh, spoiler there uh, so yeah that was what i meant earlier when i said i'll come back to getting that crime stat and why i don't think that's necessarily a bad deal so if you get a crime stat which i'm not uh, now i've spotted some more guys and i've also spotted that there's a walkway now around the room to another level so what i'm going to do now is see if i can get up to the walkway and this i'm again assuming we're not supposed to be able to get out um, any other way other than having to get up to this walkway so a nice little climbing and jumping puzzle here to continue on this mission and all the time that you're in this the atmosphere is fantastic so you're on your own in this room you don't know how to get out there's people appearing these are great missions they really this is really immersive content and as i say i know that 
people are saying that these missions are group missions and you should do them as part of a group and you should because actually doing a mission like this as a team as a focused team is really really good experience however it's also a really really good experience to do it on your own and to have to deal with it all yourself and actually to do them on your own from scratch not even knowing what is going on in the mission is quite an experience they're quite in-depth missions and reminiscent of other games that I've played in the past, really, where it's out single player missions. So, yeah, whatever your preference is, whether your preference is part of an org or a team, or whether it's to do stuff on your own, uh, totally, totally doable. Either way. And don't forget to loot the guys, because loads of stuff. So I'm now just considering and I'm thinking, ah, look at the end, there's an elevator, let's try there, maybe the elevator will come there and we can continue on with the mission. We've nearly done the mission now, all we have to do is get out and destroy the ship, or as I say, destroy the ship. So you can see there that elevator panel totally was different to the others. It was red and then it went green, whereas all the others were already green. Also, when I do get this elevator to work in a minute, I have to press it again. You can hear the elevator coming, and that was never the case with the other two. So it may be a glitch, or it may be intentional. Let me know in the comments as well what you think of this mission. Say, um, does this look good to you? Is this the kind of content you want to see in Star Citizen? It's exactly the kind of content I want to see in Star Citizen. Totally, totally love. I mean, we're going to get to the Siege of Orison at, at a later date um, and Jump Town and all those things. I love them. They're all fantastic. I love playing with other people. I love being part of a team, but I love stuff like this as well. Solo missions or missions that can be done as part of a team or a pair or what, however you wish. That are really immersive. And I think this is something that we don't... The Star Citizen is not just about running around shooting everybody. And it's also not just about flying backwards and forwards trading goods. But if you want to do that, then obviously you do that. That's, you know, I like doing that. But I like to do other things as well. So I'm really pleased that they've added more of these sort of missions because these are really, really good missions. I mean, a, a lot of time and effort has gone into this. A lot of time and effort. And I know it's buggy, but this is the PTU that you're seeing this on. And I, I'll give you a spoiler, I'm still able to complete the mission and get paid for doing it. So, if you listen carefully now, you can see and hear that the ship is in trouble. I can hear the sound of pew pew. Somebody is shooting at this ship and the ship is falling apart. You can see the sort of, the warning signs, the things, sparks coming from the ceiling, etc. So now I'm rushing to get to either the bridge or a turret, which I think, yeah, this is the turret. Um, I have been in a reclaimer before, just so you know. Uh, if you haven't been in a reclaimer before, you may find this uh, a little bit more difficult to find things, but you're obviously you're watching this video, so you've got a bit of an idea now. Um, but yeah, I'm getting in the turret to see if I can shoot the guy who's trying to shoot me. I don't want the ship to blow up because I want to blow it up and escape because I haven't clottoned on yet that actually I'm better off just going to prison. So now what I don't know here, I think this is an actual player I don't think this is uh, AI I think that's a player the elite Baron are you a player are you out there are you watching this video if you are I think you are a player because also he wasn't very you know we got a few green hits there but he was he's he's getting out of the way and he's hiding now he's hiding behind the ship and he's shooting away so he knows that I'm in the ship and he knows that I'm shooting at him uh, he's just trying to destroy the ship so I wonder, I think he's trying to get my, I suspect he's trying to get my bounty. Because I've got a three, a crime strat three there. So I think he's trying to get my bounty. So this is another interesting thing here. If, if that's the case, if you're intended to get a crime stat, that means that while you're in there doing that mission, bounty hunters are on the way, coming to get you. So there's a bit of a time constraint there. But as you'll see, the elite baron was very helpful because the elite baron destroyed the ship for me. Um, and, and I got the money and I got to do a short amount of time in Clash Air and I still kept all my gear, which is the key really. It also might be worth doing this mission in looted gear if you're gonna do that option, just in case for some reason 
you don't uh, keep your gear. But I have to say that I've always kept my gear when I've gone to Clesher. And obviously in the future that may not be the case. So I can see now there's an elevator here to the bridge. No, I'm running away again. No, I'm running back again. So we need to get to the bridge and we're going to try and remove the shield so that we can go out and uh, we can uh, he can hopefully blow the ship up. Because again, we haven't... I hadn't clocked on at this point that actually the best bet is to just blow the shit up. Ship? Ship. Ship up. Also, something weird happened there. I got really in injured. I got really injured and then I was struggling because I didn't have a med pen um, on board. Didn't have a med pen equipped. So again, always equip a med pen. Always, always. I always go out everywhere. Everywhere I go in Star Citizen, have three med pens on your trousers at all times. Because what's going to happen is you're going to fall somewhere and you're going to need a med pen. Or you're going to get injured like that coming down an elevator and need a med pen. And I wouldn't have been able to complete the mission if I died. I've got in the wrong seat. You want to get in the left-hand seat to turn the shields off and to... Uh, you can uh, do the... Um, I, I don't know if you can do it from the right-hand seat, but I would just get in the left-hand seat. I got in the wrong seat. Then I had second thoughts, and I was like, hang on a minute, he's blowing this ship up. Look, it's steaming and everything. I need to just get out. So I started trying to get out, and as I was trying to get out, well, you can kind of guess where this is going. Running, let's get back to the elevator. Let's get up the elevator. Let's get out of here. The ship's going to blow. The ship's going to blow, Captain. Captain, the ship's going to blow. And you know what? Kind of did. And there we go. So thank you to the Elite Baron. I hope you got some money for uh, my bounty, but thank you very much for completing the mission for me. Um, and um, and pointing out that actually that's not a bad way to complete the mission because it means that you're not going away with a crime stat having to travel all the way to a security post to try and get rid of your crime stat or get yourself blown up so you can go to prison to get rid of your crime stat. So my my advice, if you get a crime stat doing this mission, just let just blow the ship up, go to prison. Obviously, wait till you've completed the other tasks. Blow the ship up, go to prison. I will obviously go to prison in a minute. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, brief look around this mission of the Black Kite. Uh, and I'm going to show you another mission, uh, some other missions in the PTU um, soon, hopefully before the PTU goes to live, otherwise there's no point. Um, anyway, for today, thank you very much for your time. Please like and subscribe, like the video, subscribe to the channel. And I will see you again here in the verse. And this is me, Top Brazillo, signing off.